We're seeing nearly 900 new coronavirus cases in Maryland, among them Baltimore County's health officer. Coronavirus hospitalizations in Maryland are on the rise yet again. Baltimore City officials say these new numbers are raising a red flag and they're now ramping up pressure on everyone to do their part to stop the spread. WJZ is live. Amy Kawada has the latest on the health officer's diagnosis. Amy. Max, Dr. Gregory Branch is now in isolation and he still remains active on the job, but he tells us he had a minor cough and started to lose his voice, so he went to the county health clinic to get tested. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a pandemic. Dr. Gregory Branch, Baltimore County's health officer and lead voice on the pandemic response, has tested positive for the coronavirus. He told WJZ, while I do not know exactly how I contracted the virus, this is a stark reminder of how contagious COVID-19 can be. I will continue to rest and recuperate at home, but would like to use this opportunity to remind everyone that this disease is still very much with us and that we are all susceptible. Dr. Branch's illness and the illness of so many Maryland residents are not just numbers on our dashboards. They are real people whose illnesses are affecting their lives and the lives of their loved ones. Baltimore City's health commissioner remains concerned about the rising number of cases. Our data continues to show the same alarming trends. As of today, our July peak seven day average number of cases is 137. At our previous peak in May, it was 124. Baltimore's mayor says everyone should be following the mask order. I keep seeing people complaining about masks and asking for exceptions to be made. Let me be clear, COVID is not making exceptions. In Prince George's County, multiple videos on Instagram appear to show people packed on the grounds of a large mansion last weekend. The county executive warned these pool parties better not happen again. And the county executive warns violators of these large house parties, including homeowners and promoters, could spend up to a year in jail and face up to $5,000 worth of fines. Live this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ. Amy, thank you. Mercy Medical Center will name its ICU in honor of Dr. Joseph Costa, who recently died from the coronavirus. The 56-year-old led their critical care division and had been treating patients infected with COVID-19. Mercy has also set up a memorial fund in his name for patient care. $35 million is headed to Johns Hopkins to help fund two clinical trials to test the effectiveness of blood plasma to treat COVID patients. The money comes from the Department of Defense. The study includes 1,100 people at 20 medical centers across the country. The treatment being studied involves the transfusion of a blood product with antibodies from COVID survivors to a current patient. The hope is the treatment will help boost their immune systems to fight the virus.